you think about the last time you were barefoot, like in nature, it probably wasn't very recently, you know? Can you walk us through it? What is the, let's earth. Yeah. yeah what is it. my let's first take, step? Take the first shoes step. off, take first the step. shoes okay. off. I first learned about grounding maybe 12, 13 years ago through one of the trainers for the Tour de France team from the US and he was using it with many of their athletes and with surprising results. And I think the surprising breast summarizes my response to it because it didn't seem to make sense. I think I became a believer once I started to explore the science. ATP is short for adenosine triphosphate. It's the energy currency of the cell. We're a bioelectrical beings. That's the currency of our body. That's how it works. That's how we run our biological systems is by generating this electrical energy that's transferred. And when we connect to the Earth through a conductive surface in some way, there's a transfer of electrons that slowly go into our body. You need electrons for energy. It's called the electron transport chain in mitochondria. It generates adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. It's the energy molecule in the body. I tell athletes that before an event, Stand 15 minutes in your bare feet on the grass and you will charge up your electron stores. And should you fall down, and athletes fall down, you will not have inflammation at all. We tried to figure out how much charge the body takes in when you touch the earth. What happens is the body saturates with electrons practically instantaneously it's so fast that you can't measure it. So electrons from the Earth enter the body right away, and they coat the red blood cells so that the cells repel each other. And then they can't clump, and the blood viscosity goes down. It's easier for the heart to pump the blood. The blood pressure goes down all kinds of cardiovascular issues, they go away. In situations where we are insulating ourselves from this a surplus of electrons into our body, we're gonna get the absolute opposite. So instead of having low levels of inflammation and a thin blood, we'll have thick blood that's more likely to clot and our levels of inflammation tend to increase. There's a well-established, traditional, conventional system that relies on expensive intervention. So they'd like to perpetuate that, and they're not too interested in having some competition coming in for a lot less expensive to sort of sabotage their profit levels. Because their goal isn't to help humanity, their goal is, to, is really as corporations, is increase their profits. The question becomes, you know, how much of an influence has lack of grounding been in the epidemic of disease that we have? Is this grounding a factor? <laughs>